They keep saying it's fixed, but it's not fixed. This is not enough for me to take a shower with. Happening now, water is flowing back into the Poe home community after being turned off for nearly a week. A lot of our viewers are seeing, feeling the frustration for the Pew commu Po community, too, because they're calling in with suggestions. Many residents say that the water flowing in their neighborhood right now mm -hmm. is just not good enough. And you can tell by that video there. Elijah Westbrook live from the Po homes in West Baltimore with more on this ongoing issue here, Elijah. Yeah, well, Tom and Megan, DPW officials have installed what's called a temporary bypass. That's the uh, fixture right there across the street. It seemingly appears to be a pipe that is connected to a fire hydrant. You can see it extends all the way down this street here to the Poe Homes community, which is about a block away from where we're standing. Now, yes, the water is on at this time, but now the issue is how low the water pressure truly is. DPW and the Housing Authority of Baltimore City spent Sunday going door to door, checking the pressure in each each resident's home. Now, according to the city, aging infrastructure is to blame for the nearly week long water problem. People who we spoke to say they're doing what they can in the meantime, but dealing with this water crisis has become frustrating. We all fed up around here. We all fed I know I'm fed up. Right now, I have um, bathtub water, but I don't have bathroom sink water. It runs slowly, it's a little light. The kitchen water is slowly. Um, I don't have any toilet flushing water. Now, city officials have offered those affected residents to stay in a hotel until the problem is resolved. That's the latest here in West Baltimore. I'm Elijah Westbrook, Fox 45. Good day, Baltimore. Thank you, Elijah.